Hello, my name is Ramona Pantagra. I'm music director for Kansas City Ballet, and I'm delighted to be here conducting Orlando Ballet's version of The Swan Lake. Um, Tchaikovsky's iconic score will be heard, played by the Orlando Philharmonic. And even if you don't know classical music somewhere, you've run across the theme for Swan Lake, which is... The wonderful thing about this theme is that it appears throughout the ballet in various forms. For example, little do you realize that when we hear Siegfried, the prince, um, we often hear the same theme turned upside down. And Tchaikovsky does wonderful things with the theme throughout the ballet, changing it and evolving it as the characters evolve. One of my favorite things that he does is he makes it more menacing when the evil Rothbard appears. And he does that by adding the brass. So we get... So suddenly, we have all of this drama and passion, and it's basically the use of leitmotif. And leitmotif is a melody line for a specific character. So when we see Swan Lake, we also hear it. We hear the evolution of these themes, and the characters suddenly become flesh and blood. They have passion, they have drama behind them. So from the beginning of the end of Swan Lake, we get the beautiful melody line of Odette, played by a single oboe as it evolves and changes, expressing the dynamics and the changes in the, in the drama and the scenario. Um, at the very end, when Rothbart and Siegfried are fighting to the death in order to save Odette, um, you hear it again. Only this time it's buried and you might not realize you're hearing it, but it's there. scene, we have Odette's theme, singing out. Tchaikovsky's use of instrumentation is really crucial in what he does. Uh, the use of brass for evil Rothbart. Uh, the use of the harp for the magic of Odette. So when you hear harp, you see Odette Odile. Here you'll hear part of the harp cadenza. can exemplify several things. Water, the rippling of water, or perhaps even the rustling of feathers. Evidently, there was a very famous harpist in the imperial court who had quite a following. So Tchaikovsky always included some big fancy harp cadenza so that the harpist's groupies would show up at the ballet. Some of my favorite parts of Swan Lake are the white swan pas de deux, when Odette and Siegfried first dance under the moonlight and it's exemplified by a fantastic duet between the principal violin and the principal cello. Um, something to look forward to in the ballet. You see each character and you hear each character with the intertwining of those two melodies. Also, in Tchaikovsky's ballets, um, the third act was often a back, an act of variety where you had different dances from different countries and it was a way to explain the exotic. Juan Lake, you have the same thing. You have Neapolitan dance, you have a Russian dance. So Tchaikovsky is giving you a tour of the world as well in his scores. So please come and see Orlando Ballet's beautiful Swan Lake, played by the Orlando Philharmonic October 27th through 29th at the Dr. Phillips Center in Orlando, Florida.